Hi, this is Tara for HealingCrystals.com, and this is the Zodiac Crystal card reading for the week of November 15th through November, well, actually November 16th through November 22nd. So remember that the, the first card that we draw, that's always the one that represents us in the coming week, and that card is going to be the Aquarius Birthstone card, and that's an amethyst. Um, I, I think what this is saying is that this is this is a good time for you to really think about what it is that you want and what you're willing to put in to get it. Um, what are you, I, I hate to use the word sacrifice because it's just like, it, it, it has negative connotations and I'm not a big believer in, you know, you have to give something up in order to have something else. I do believe that you have to let things go in order to grow. And that may be what, what, part of this what what a part of the message that that this card gives us is um you know it's basically what what do you need to do to to really be your best self to be your happiest self um do you know what it is that's going to make you feel that way that's that's what i think this this card is telling us to think about and amethyst is perfect for that because amethyst not only gets you um you know it, it activates your your crown chakra it, it also can ac activate your third eye chakra and it, it helps you to communicate not only with higher beings but more importantly your higher self my personal philosophy, I'm a big believer that we are born knowing everything that we need to know. And then the next instant we forget it all because life comes in, you know what I mean? So I think that when you take the time to get in touch with your higher self, you can learn a lot of things that you hadn't realized and Amethyst can really help you with that and I think this is a good week for that kind of an exercise. Um, and to start thinking as as 2015 is, is beginning to come to a close believe it or not um you know where what is what is it that's going to make you happiest um now and moving forward and that's what you want to focus on so so that's the first card the second card is going to be your greatest strength and your greatest weakness in the week and this one is the scorpio love card um and the the crystal here is lapidolite um Obviously, love is a strength. You know, when you love something, when you love someone, that can be a great strength. But there, there's a lot of, um, sometimes there's, there's a fine line between love and obsession. And I, I think what, the, what this card is trying to let us know is that, and especially since we're talking about Scorpio, a water sign, a sign of probably your deepest emotions. Um, it, it's trying to tell us, you know, how are you going to honor those deep emotions? Are you going to let them come out? Are you going to express them? Are you going to continue to hold them in? How are they best working for you? Um, and I think that's what this card is trying to tell us. Um, you know, love is probably the one of the the most important emotions that that we have. Um, so, what are you doing about the things that you love? Let's say, for instance, you love to make pottery, but you're not doing it because you got kids and you've got a job and you have all this other important stuff. And it, not that it's not, it is, it's very important. You've got to, you know, take care of your business of life, but you also have to honor yourself. And, and, and in order to, to make yourself your happiest, honor those things that you love and find a way to practice them and to, to put them into motion. Um, and that's how it can be your greatest strength and it can be your greatest weakness by just keeping it hidden, um, keeping it, uh, you know, keeping it in, um, you know, the, those, those places in, in ourselves where, where we keep things that, you know, we're either not ready to deal with or we just don't have the time to deal with. Um, and it's, I, I really, I found a lot of significance that I pulled this card this week because um, this is the last week that the sun's going to be in Scorpio. Um, you know, by next Sunday, we'll be moving into Sagittarius. Very, very different energy than Scorpio. Um, so I, I think you want to use the Scorpio energy um, for the value that it has to you while we still have it. Because once Sagittarius kicks in, then it's just like party time all the time. <laughs> Not really, but 
Um, and also lapidolite like, can really help you to know yourself and to know what, what matters to you and to honor that. Um, and I think that's what that card is trying to tell us. And then the last card that I draw, and I found it really interesting that all the cards I, I drew were all kind of in the purple family. Again, the crown chakra, um, and also kind of the, the third eye chakra. But um, the last card, and this would be like the surprise that the universe has for us. Um, uh, what what's hanging out there the kind of energy that we're not using um, but it's there and it's ready for for you to use um, and this is the Libra it's the chakra card it's for the third eye chakra um, there's a couple of crystals represented here amethyst is one picture Jasper is another one labradorite Herkimer diamond these are all very powerful crystals for manifesting and your third eye chakra is a very powerful tool for manifesting because if you can see it happening in your mind then you can make it happen in reality and I think that's what the universe wants you to know this week see what you want and you can make it happen because you'll figure out how to do all those those little steps all those little things that it's going to take to make it actually happen in the real world but it all begins with you having that vision in your mind and and that's what this card is telling us it's saying have have the the vision and have the faith to know that you've got the ability to make it come true um you know there's this is about being creative and but it's also about being balanced and that's a big part of being happy you have to find a way to balance, um, you know, all the things that you have going in your life. While if you're trying to add something new on, or you're trying to change something, you want to, you know, keep things balanced um, because that's where you, you find peace and contentment, and that's where a lot of the happiness comes from. So, um, again, it's the Libra Third Eye Chakra, and I think this is, you know, if if you can, if you can find time this week, spend a little time meditating. Um, and, and, you know, opening up that third eye chakra and working with the kind of crystals that will help to open it up and, and open up your crown chakra as well and work with that. Don't forget to check out your weekly and daily horoscopes on HealingCrystals.com and on our Facebook page, Crystal Talk. Have a great last week in Scorpio and enjoy the rest of your week.